So a lot of data may be stored in a cloud-based service like S3. So I'm going to show you how to connect Spark with S3 to get that data. So to connect Spark to S3, we need to provide Spark with um, the S3 connector packages so we can create a connection. These are the Maven coordinates for the Java SDK S3 connector, the AWS, and the Maven coordinates for the Hadoop AWS connector for Spark. That's right, there's two packages here. Separated by a comma, notice there's no space. PySpark is going to run Spark with these arguments. As we normally do with a Spark configuration, we um, create a Spark config, create the Spark context, pass it the config, and then pass that context to the Spark to create a Spark session. So none of this relates to S3. This is just your standard creating a Spark session. So next we need to create a Hadoop configuration so that we can set up the connection to the S3 bucket. So we define a new Hadoop configuration object, and then we have to set the AWS access key, your AWS access key, your AWS secret key, just replace the values here. And then we need to set up a credentials provider to be able to create that connection between S3 and Spark. So let me go into the, each of those in more detail. So because Spark uses Hadoop in the background to distribute files, we need to create a Hadoop configuration to interact with the files on S3. So we're just creating a Hadoop config to be able to set up the connection between S3 and Spark. One of the keys in the config we'll need to set is the AWS access key to provide the security credentials to access the bucket and the AWS secret key. And then we need to configure what type of credentials provider we use. And that would be, we're just going to, in this case, use the simple AWS credentials provider. So this is the key and this will be the value. So just enter your AWS access key. Same with the secret key and the credential provider. So to find those properties, I just searched Spark to S3. And then I went to the second uh, link here. And I found an example of how to connect Spark to S3 using Hadoop. Okay. And we can see here is how we would set the AWS access key and secret key. So now we've connected Spark to S3, all that's left to do is basically just read in files from the bucket. So in this case, I'm reading in JSON files, and you just need to specify the path to the, the files in the bucket and the name of the file with the extension. So using these connectors, you can read any file types from S3 into Spark. 